My name is Benjamin Ibarra Sevilla. I am a faculty member at the School of Architecture at the University of Texas at Austin. I'm visiting here the University of Virginia to work uh, with Professor uh, Benjamin Hayes on creating a, a replica at scale of the uh, Wastavino Dome for the for Jefferson's Rotonda. The tile vaults, as, as, as we know them, are the structures that, uh, 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 that work purely in compression. Uh, there is very little uh, tensile uh, stress happening within the surface of, of the vault itself, although there is, uh, was Tamino recognized that there were some areas of the buildings where the stress will, the tensile stress will happen so that he will use uh, some iron to reinforce that. What I see as a benefit for the uh, students who are not precisely in architecture is that um, uh, they get an introduction on, on materials, uh, they get an introduction on how to handle those type of materials, what are the possibilities for those materials as well. And as well, you know, to understand the type of effort and the energy that are, that took place in order to construct those structures uh, uh, in the recent or way, way back in the past. and my reason for being here is that Ben asked me to come work with the students on creating a model of the original Jefferson DeLorme Dome at the Rotunda. The DeLorme system is a, is a wooden method of framing a dome and it, it's based on a, a, an invention of Philibert DeLorme who was a Renaissance architect in France. And he devised this manner of creating the image of the dome out of wood, laminated timbers, and put together in a very specific way that would make it possible to create a dome without the expense of cutting it out of stone or building it in brick. The marvelous thing about the DeLorme system is that it, it's as practical and useful today as it was when DeLorme first invented it. And once you've gone through the exercise, that's part of the things I hope the students will take away is this is very simple. And if I wanted to build a dome for my house, I could do that. Or uh, for a commercial building, if I wanted a dome in my office, I could do that too. Whether it's DeLorme's method or anything, any other subject, the idea of building something yourself, mm -hmm. I think is extremely valuable. Mm -hmm. and, um, because your, your mind and your coordination with your hands and, your, and the fabrication of it um, is missing when you're talking about just doing drawings or conceptualizing or writing about it. When you build it, you understand it in a way that you'll never forget. And you have a, a working knowledge of the system that is uh, much more valuable than a theoretical knowledge. Mm -hmm.